To be saved and be bound is a contradiction of terms. To be saved and be bound is a contradiction, a contradistinction. Because the word salvation, to be saved, is the Greek word is sozo. I-S-O-Z-O, which means delivered, which means rescued. Greek words have multiple meanings. One Greek word, for example, Allos Parakletos, which is another comforter, has about seven meanings. It was only translated comforter, but it also means advocate. It also means standby. It also means strengthener. It also means intercessor. It also means partner. It means seven things, but it means counselor. But only one meaning could be picked in the English word in the same manner. Saved means delivered, means rescued, means liberated. So you are not permitted to be saved and remain bound. No wonder the Bible said in Psalm 103, verse 1, all the way to verse 5. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. His benefits of salvation. Why? Who forgiveth thee all thine iniquities, and then inside salvation, he healed thee of all thy diseases. Inside salvation, he redeemed or rescue or deliver your life from destruction. Inside salvation, he crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies. Inside salvation, he satisfies your mouth with good things so that the youth is renewed like the eagles. No wonder the psalmist said in Psalm 37, and in verse 25, he said, I have been young and now I'm old. Yet have I not seen the righteous, the one serving God, the one saved, forsaken, nor is seed begging for bread. Righteousness is contrary to wretchedness. Righteousness is contrary to wretchedness. Righteousness is contrary to wretchedness. Righteousness is contrary to captivity, to bondage. So today, I stand here by the mantle of God and I decree today, every force of wretchedness, every force of captivity, every force of bondage, every force of demonic oppression and affliction, on your life today, I declare it is broken. Yeah. Is there somebody saying amen? I thought you said the Lord is saying amen. Yeah. If that is the case, please take your seat. If that is the case, why are some Christians, saved people, still talking of ancestral curses, generational curse? A witch is pursuing them. A wizard is pursuing them. It is because there are certain forces of the spirit that must be employed. Am I communicating? The fact that you own a car, does it mean it's automatic that you can drive? There are those who got the car before they learned how to drive. Am I communicating? The fact that you have the car key in your hand, does it move the car? You sit in the car. The fact that you are sitting in the car with the key, does it move the car? So the fact that you are sitting in the church does not necessarily guarantee deliverance. Even though it's the climate can guarantee your deliverance, but there are things you need to do. So you turn on the ignition and on the electrical system and then you move the gear in the days of manual gear and begin to move the mechanical system and then you, 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 you move on with the with application of 
of, of, your, of your legs on, on, on the throttle and then on the, what do you call the other, the clutch. And then begin the movement. When it's time to slow down, you slow it with the hydraulic brake. And then, and so on and so forth. So, there is no liberty without responsibility. There is nobody that can be free without doing anything. There is no, there is no motion without responsibility. The summary is, there is no possibility without responsibility. If anything must be possible, somebody must be responsible. 